Hey guys, and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play The Sims 2 Bon Voyage. Um, from the, as you have seen the previous clip earlier, Mark is now gone. And um, Fiona is leaving the town, basically. Uh, she's not really leaving the town, but I'm just say she just left the town. Um, she couldn't cope with such pain, so she left the household. And um, in order to regain composure, she needs to get out of the town for a little bit and just like be on her own for a little bit. So, we'll never know when she'll return. Probably in like part 20 or something. I don't know. But she is out on her own for a little bit. We need to leave her alone. I don't like seeing this, so I'm just gonna fill it back in. And I don't even know what to do. Okay, so uh, where we last left off, we went to the mysterious hut and we got Mr. Mickles, the voodoo doll, from the witch doctor that we helped with his appliances and everything. That's how we got it. And also, we have eighty thousand simoleons now because um, when Mark died, he his insurance the insurance company gave us mu that much money. So yeah, we don't have to worry about jobs for a little bit, especially on vacation. I'm definitely glad that we're out of that house. Cause we've been in there for like most of the time, and um, I didn't I didn't like watching the toddlers. So I guess it's time to relax more since we've pretty much accomplished what we had to do. Just uh, explore the hidden lots. And I think we have maids, don't we? Don't we have like room service for like cleaning up the house? So, uh, information? No, I don't want to do that. Room service. Can can we have, like, a maid do something? Isn't that even a maid? I don't know. But we need, our house needs to be cleaned. I guess we shouldn't be lazy, just clean it up ourselves. So everybody is, like, starving. So we should go ahead and, like... Maybe go out and eat. Let's go to another community lot where we can like get food and everything. Let's see, Samantha and Josh really don't need anything, so we we'll just take the main explorers. Ariana and Scotts. And let's see. We already been to White Sand Hot Springs. Let's go to Tweaky Beach Boardwalk. Take a stroll down the boardwalk and enjoy tasty local food, exciting shops with trinkets and jewelry, and energetic fiery entertainment. So I guess this is like the whole main thing of Twiggy Island, like where you can get most of your things. So we'll pick back up when we're at the uh, community lot. So here we are at the Tweaky Beach Boardwalk or something, something with boardwalk in it. Um, so of course, let me show you around real quick. I'm gonna pause just for a little bit. Um, over here you have your little, uh, let's see, what is this? I don't know what that is. Like jewelry stands and stuff. You can buy jewelry from here. And then there's like some decorations on the wall. You know, like Hawaiian stuff, tropical birds and flowers, all that. Here's some souvenirs. Um, over here is the food court thingy. Food, uh, we'll just call it a court. I don't know. The cashier and some clothes you can buy. Plan your outfits. Pretty much just sit down, relax, have a nice vacation. Over here you have some entertainment entertainment going on. Um, the hula, the hula, hula, hula dancers. I cannot talk today. Um, the hula dancers, sort of, for your show. Yeah, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and I think they have a first floor. There's nothing much on the first floor, just your bathrooms. So let's go ahead and uh, go get some food because that's what we mostly came here for, for food. We're going to get some uh, pineapple surprise. I wonder what's so surprising about pineapples. And he's already going to order his food. 
so is uh, Ariana. They pretty, pretty much do that automatically because they're hungry. So while they're ordering their food, let's go ahead and look at the hula dancer, the fire show, whatever. You have your hula music and not necessarily hula music, just your tropical music, whatever. It's hard for me to describe things somewhat. Oh my gosh, Ariana is in really bad mood. Just because Mark has died, she's like all the way down. Everybody's like down. And they're afraid of him becoming a zombie. Even though has, Mark has passed away, we can always find a way to resurrect him because we can get the um, Resurrect Onomatron, which comes with the University Expansion Pack. So, yeah, one thing that's a benefit of University. You can get Resurrect Onomatron and resurrect him. We need to fulfill Ariana's uh, things here. Go steady, resurrect Mark. Nothing we can re fulfill so far, so that's kind of bad. She's gonna go cuckoo in a little bit. Jeez. She's ordering more food. Teriyaki mahi mahi. Speed this up a little bit. That is so cool. And swap foods. They're having a pretty much a good time. I think there's a third floor. No, there's not. Not a third floor. It's just a little roof thing here. What? Congratulate. Why would you congratulate her for? There's nothing to be congratulated about. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the um, entertainment over here. We can. Uh, we can't do anything. Can we watch him? Learn fire dance. We can learn the fire dance for 75 simoleons. Or you can watch it. I think we'll have to learn it another day because it's getting kind of late. So I guess we can just watch it for now. Because we're already here now. Might as well do something here. I think she's cuckoo. She's throwing a tantrum. What is that supposed to get you? That, that throwing a tantrums will not get you anywhere. They can get you beat up or something, because tantrums can be annoying. He's in the bathroom right now, woman. Respect his privacy. He also needs hygiene, so good thing there are showers here. It's pretty convenient. She's all out here, like watching it. I mean, why can't you be like sitting right there or something? She's like, I got the backside view. I can check from the back. He's like, what you doing, woman? Huh? Why are you staring at my back for? She's like, oh, I'm just sitting down. Oh, I'm not doing nothing. Hmm. I really hope Ariana doesn't go cuckoo. Hopefully we have like a want that we can fulfill quickly. Oh, there's also another memory. It says, Inherited money from Mark. I'll miss that dearly departed sin, but at least I got one heck of a memento. ka -ching. That is messed up. Saying that you got something for him? No, especially money. Yeah, that's messed up. Okay, let's go home now. Because it's getting late. We're pretty late. And we're getting, like, stinky. So we'll pick back up when we're at our resort, the bungalows. Okay, we're back at the Potter House bungalows, and we only have four more days left in this vacation. Wait, no, you're not eating that. That's nasty. Well, it's near nasty stuff. Let's go ahead and clean up before we eat something, because we don't want a bad environment or something. So um, I actually found when we when we came here the the wants of Ariana have like changed a lot. So um, we were able to fulfill it, and now she's in the gold aspiration, which is very good, pretty good, I, I guess. 
He's meeting some locals. Hang loose. I wonder if she learned that gesture yet. No, I don't think so. And then uh, Scott and Ariana are sleeping. So I guess we'll pick back up when somebody wakes up, I guess. Alright, Ariana is close up, close to waking, so I'm going to wake her up. Get her ready for the day. Because we're going to ex be exploring some more. There's a whole bunch of more, well not a whole bunch, but there's a few more community lots we still need to explore before we end this vacation. We also need to learn something, probably, the fire dance. That's for sure. Because... We also forgot to buy some souvenirs. We'll do that later. Even though we forgot to... It was pretty late anyways, too. What? Who's that? Oh. Well, it's not your hotel room, so you shouldn't be trying to get in here. Oh, I'm surprised this lobster Thumbador hasn't uh, gone spoiled yet. Then we're gonna wake up Scott's and have him eat that too before it spoils. And then clean those up. So Josh and Samantha are okay. I guess okay. Josh is a little hungry. You better hurry up and eat that lobster before it spoils. Yeah, it's spoiled already. Too late. Okay, we're gonna... She's not fully rested yet. We'll let her sleep a little bit more. Plus, too early. Here's the nice waters. And the niceness has been ruined by the sun. It's been burning into our souls. I'm gonna have them change into their everyday attire, because... Walking around in your pajamas looks pretty silly. Okay, wake up now. Sleepyhead. Everybody's in good moods, except for Nathan Samantha. So, we are going to be going to another community lots, as I said earlier. But I don't know which community lots yet. Okay, let's see. Community lots. Ariana, Scotts. Why not take all of them? Why not? Okay, so we've been to White Sand Hot Springs. We've been to Twiggy Beach Boardwalk. Uh, beach Hotel. There's a hotel. We don't need to go to a hotel. South End Beach. Come explore the beautiful sands and waters of the infamous... Infamous? Or infamous, I guess. Infamous. South End Beach, where Billius Bob the Pirate washed ashore while searching for the monkey ruins of Jumbok the Fourth. And if you come here at nighttime and explore the pirate ship, I'm pretty sure the ghost will come out. So let's go there right now. And we shall be picking up when we're there. So many, so many pickups. No, don't hunt your stuffed animal. Don't do that. No, get off the bed. Get, no, stupid dog. Humping stuffed animals on the bed. Not pleasant. But uh, here we are at the um, South South Beach or something. I don't... I'm not really good at remembering, th remembering things. Uh, so here we are. Uh, there's another food uh, court, I guess. Food court, then there's your music players, and it's just a whole tropical look to it. That's what it looks like from a bird's eye view, I guess. Okay, so over here, bathrooms and then pirate ship. That's all. Pretty nice. And we're gonna go ahead. They're actually going to go play pirates on this ship. Wow, you're adults. You shouldn't be playing pirates on a ship. But that's a long staircase. And then Scott is going to make a sandcastle, I think. You should help him make a sandcastle, Samantha. But I can't control her. So I guess she's gonna play with a steering wheel, I guess. 
Nope. She's like, ahoy, mateys. Climb crow's nest. This is the crow's nest right here. If you don't know what a part of a ship is, this is the crow's nest. She's like, ooh. Raise the Jolly Roger, man the wheel, explore pirate. Let's man the wheel. It's like, I'm driving. Let's check on Melissa. She's like, ahoy, ahoy. This is so high up. Plunder the captain's cabin. Ooh, what does that mean, plunder? I don't know what you're doing, Scots. It's like, ooh, nice view. You can raise the Jolly Roger. What does that do? Doesn't seem to be doing. Oh, he's raising up the flag. The bunny on its fence with cutlass. So she went in there. Hmm, I did not find anything in the captain's cabin. Maybe I should try again. Sure, go ahead. Plunder. I think plunder is like exploring. Like, look through his stuff or something. And then there's Scott's uh, fencing. He's like, oh yeah, I'm so good. I'm stabbing you. One more time, explore it one more time. This time explore the pirate ship. I mean... Uh, let's, uh, let's see. Walk the plank for Melissa. Har, 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 har. So hilarious. are some silly sims. It's like, oh, oh my god, I'm gonna... Uh. So, whoa, 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 what have I gotten myself into? I almost had a heart attack right there. That was so funny. Not really. What, is what else is there to do? We pretty much did everything here. Let's go fence again, I guess. Jim Reeves. I think we've seen him before. He's walking the plank. I hope he falls. Why don't you fall? Fall, 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 fall. Yes! Oh, dang it. Dang it, I wanted him to fall. Ariana seems to be enjoying herself. So like, you, do that, whatever. You realize you're not talking to anybody, are you? Didn't think so. Man, they are, they are some... Freaking peeping toms. I think they're in different rooms, though. Yeah, they're in different rooms. I, I could have sworn it was, like, surveillance camera through the stalls. I mean, why would you want to watch anybody do their business anyways? That's just a little nasty. A little nasty, nasty. Is there an entertainer here? No, there isn't. So that's pretty much... Uh, what you have to do here, I guess. Just explore the pirate ship ma mainly. Um, let's see what this tour guide can do with us, for us. You can uh, book a tour, glass bottom boat, helicopter tour, parasailing. Parasailing? I don't think you actually parasail, you just like go in a rabbit hole or something. But let's see what uh, Ariana does with parasailing. Probably a rabbit hole. It's like, uh, can I book a parasailing thing? Feed your appetite for adventure with this exhilarating parasailing tour. It will cost 300 simoleons per person. Do you want to go on this tour? Sure. Take everybody. Um, yeah. Let's go parasailing, guys. Isn't that our... Yeah, that's our taxi for there. So they're going to go on their tour. I don't think we're going to go parasailing with them. We're just going to probably... Pretty much be stuck in a rabbit hole or something. Come on, guys. You're so slow. I 
Okay, so they're gonna go on their tour now. Yeah, and I think it's just a rabbit hole. They're just gonna go on their parasailing trip while we just wait here. I don't know when they'll return, but uh, we'll pick back up when they return. Okay, that wasn't too long. As soon as the boat picks up full speed, the rope that connects the boat and parachute starts tearing, and a few seconds later, the parachute is sailing freely. Should the group try to steer the chute or let the wind determine the destination? Let's see. I'm not really good at this. I don't know what will happen, but let's try anyways. Uh, just for the heck of it. So if your parachute is fl sailing freely, should you control it or let the wind take control? The wind is pretty like un unpredictable, so it might sail you off like deep in the sea or something. Let's steer the parachute. Uh, the parachute isn't really meant to be steered in every attempt to guide it. Maneuvers it away from the beach and into the mainland. Land landing in the jungle, the group has to fight its way back into civilization. The hard work and the heat gets everyone a point of body skill. Wow, that wasn't long. Probably about 49 minutes at the same time. So did they have a memory of that? Yes, they did. Went on tour. And I believe that is all we have to do here, I guess. Is anybody hungry? They're pretty hungry, so let's just go ahead and grab a bite to eat here. Let them use the restroom first. They'll probably pee their pants, like, all scared and stuff. Like, oh my god! The parachute. Rah, tear it apart. Rah. While we're at it, take a shower. You want to smell nice when you're eating. Why can't I do anything? Oh, wrong person. Dang. Does anybody need to take a shower? Scott, you do. Take a shower. She's gonna sunbathe on the beach. Hula dancer. Her name is Kara Nanel. Nanel. Don't know. Don't want to butcher her name. Already did. Do they have urinals? They do. Okay, let's speed this up. Go ahead and grab a bite of law ribs. That isn't vegetarian though. That's not good for you. Have some pineapple surprise. They say in Sims 2 that if you are a vegetarian, you will live longer, which is pretty much true in real life because uh, meat and everything have like a lot of iron in it and then you can like die early or something. Based off of what I read before. You shouldn't sunbathe for too long, woman. Teriyaki mahi mahi. You can have a lot of ribs. You're gonna die early anyways. Excuse you. Aren't you guys gonna come to eat too, huh? Okay, let's speed this up. This is so slow. She's going on the pirate ship again. What if this whole thing just broke down? That would have been so funny. So many people want to talk to you and everything. It's overwhelming. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's buy some clothing. Let's buy some clothes and souvenirs while we're here anyways. Wait for them to be finished eating first. Don't want to interrupt the meal time. Let's buy some of that. Let's buy some of this. Well, we don't re we don't really need jewelry. And let's buy some every day, I guess. Let's see. Little chest for booty. Up uh, for booty. <laughs> of booty. Being a pirate in today's day and age is nigh impossible. One must live near an ocean, own a large enough sloop, generate enough capital to hire a fear introducing inducing crew and making consistent living plundering barges and cruise ships luckily you can now reap the rewards of piracy and without the dangers with of dangers with without the dangers with a little chest of booty available at pirate themed souvenir stores anywhere everywhere i seriously cannot read well 
Go away, I don't want to talk to you. Goopy Kim Brown. What kind of name is Goopy? While we're here, we might as well buy some exploring clothing. Because you don't want to be walking around like in a freaking... I don't know, never mind. The clothes she's wearing is pretty much appropriate, I guess. So, the clothes, the clothing that comes with Bon Voyage is... Let's see, the courts. Okay. Here are the clothes that come with Bon Voyage. You have your basic hula stuff, tropical hula stuff. You have your country sort of theme clothing here. You have your basic adventuring clothing. We're going to get her a pink one. And probably a green one. There's also kimonos. Let's get her in this one. Get her too cold, huh? Then there's like, I think that's it. You just have your whole Hawaiian thing here. Uh, for some reason, I don't like this clothing. It seems like you're old or something. I don't know. I just, some, I just don't like that it's like so long. Let's buy some hula stuff while we're at it. They have different, different uh, colors. Why not buy some for the men? It's like, yes, here's my money. I want to buy these clothing. And for the men, they have different types of styles. Okay, starting here. No, not there. Of course, they have their shirt off. Let's get this green one. Um, let's go ahead and buy some lumberjack stuff. Of course, explore clothing. By this one. By this one. This one. I like this one. And this one. What is this? I think it's like a toy. I don't know what that is. Couldn't describe it. And before we leave, might as well use the restroom. Let's buy her some exploring clothing as well. She's a teenager. She won't be AJ up anytime soon. Because they're basically on vacation both of the time, most of the time. She's like, you mother... You mofo. Looking at my clothing, right? I think for teen girls, I think it's the same thing. Pretty, mm, this is different. Let's get this one. Let's see what else is there. Nothing. Whatever. Buying whatever we can. And then we're going to have the whole family here. Just walk home and we'll pick back home when pick back home I guess it's time to end the episode here uh, it's been about 27 to 28 minutes uh, so if you like the video go ahead and, go ahead and click the like button if you want to continue watching the series subscribe plenty more videos will be uploaded um, I'm not sure when though um, but definitely more videos to become rest in peace mark I think there we will select him probably on the last season episode last episode of the season and Fiona she's still regaining composure still don't know when she's gonna return but yeah yeah thanks for watching have a wonderful day